Hey everyone, this is Dr. Isra with Integrative Kidney Institute and today I'm going to be talking to you about seven frequently asked questions about genetic testing for chronic kidney disease. So let's do this. So this uh, is part of the series that we're talking about, uh, about genetic testing for chronic kidney disease that uh, we have been doing for the past two months and as you know, this series is sponsored by Natera. And uh, as you know, genetic testing for a uh, patient with kidney disease had a tremendous impact on their care. The term broad panel genetic testing is actually used to describe those commercially available genetic tests that utilize what's uh, called next generation sequencing. These tests offer numerous advantages in patients with kidney disease. But genetic testing in general is actually fairly new. So many patient and providers are hesitant to order these tests. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about some of the frequently asked questions about genetic testing in adults with patient with kidney disease. So the number one most commonly asked question is what can I learn from genetic testing? And, and again, I want to encourage you to go back to our previous videos about these because uh, we talked about these in details. Genetic testing in kidney disease can help diagnose unknown causes of chronic kidney disease and help identify changes in the genome or the exome that might, may be associated with CKD. So as you remember from these previous videos, we can identify unknown causes of kidney disease in up to 25% of the cases. The result of these tests can also help the providers to offer proper diagnosis and correct improper diagnosis. And genetic testing can give you molecular level diagnosis that can help the provider to look for specific treatment for the disease. And, and recently also, we're learning a lot about uh, the metabolism of medications and how genetics affect the metabolism of, of many medications. So recently this field of pharmacogenomics has been identified as a target for genetics and can be helpful in, in properly dosing medications, especially for kidney disease and, and transplant. The second most common question is how does genetic testing work? And again, I want to encourage you go, to go back to the previous videos. We talked about next generation sequencing. But to simply say here, in order to do uh, or to perform a test, a sample of DNA is required. And usually this is obtained from a saliva or a blood sample. And the, sen the, the cells from that sample is then processed and analyzed and compared to a database that is obtained from genome-wide association studies. And these studies really looked at multiple genetic variants and linked them statistically to specific kidney disease in established kidney patients. So from that comparison, you can look at what the result you have and the database that is available and connect them and see if the test result have anything that is linked to a specific kidney disease in uh, uh, genome-wide association studies. So simply by doing this, it can make the result really be computerized and can happen within a fraction of the time that is used to require in the past. The third most common question is, does genetic testing help diagnose specific kidney disease? So you know, genetic testing can identify what we call genetic variants associated with certain kidney disease. But carrying a genetic variance does not really necessarily mean that the person will develop the disease. So if you don't have a kidney disease and you did a test and the genetic test was positive, that doesn't mean specifically that you're going to develop that disease. And there are a lot of factors that affect the ability of the genes to express themselves. Genetic testing should always be interpreted 
in consultation with an experienced nephrologist, experienced in genetic testing, or a genetic counselor, or both. And again, we talk about this all the time, that our genes are not our destiny. So not everything you find on a genetic test is going to translate to a kidney problems or a problem in general. Number four, will these tests identify all genetic variants associated with kidney disease? So simple answer to that is no. Our knowledge about genetic basis of kidney disease is actually still evolving. We know that 500 genes have been associated with different forms of kidney disease. So the specific gene mutation identified in broad panel genetic testing depend on the genetic testing company used. And, and, and also, genetic testing cannot tell you everything about inherited diseases. Diet, lifestyle, and environment all influence how our gene are expressed. And this is a field known as epigenetics. And I'll put a link here for you to go back to our video about epigenetics to learn more about that. Number five, why do I need a genetic testing for kidney disease if I am already doing regular exams and lab checks? So you probably, if you have kidney disease, you know that kidney disease is a very silent disease. And patients usually don't develop symptoms until later stages in chronic kidney disease. And uh, in addition to laboratory testing, genetic testing can provide information for those at increased risk for chronic kidney disease and knowing the genetic risk can provide you with an opportunity to modify your lifestyle in order to decrease a chance of a kidney disease or a failure in the future. So like I said, our genes are not our destiny, but we cannot change our destiny without knowing our genes. And we know our genes, we can modify our lifestyle to make specific changes that can help us live longer and be healthier. Number six, is this test covered by my insurance? Well, that's a very specific question and really depending on the test performed, your insurance may or may not cover a portion of the test. There are now a lot of companies that are offering small panel tests implemented um, and, and these are mainly pharmaceutical companies and they hope that they will recoup the cost by identifying patients who may benefit from their products. But in general, broad panel testing is now much more affordable than it used to be in the past. And number seven, will I be discriminated against based on my results? So now federal law prohibit health insurance providers and employers from discriminating against person with genetic or based on gen their genetic information. However, unfortunately, this law does not apply to long-term care, disability, or life insurance providers. So it is crucial that you choose a company that values your privacy and you think about this really specifically before you do any genetic testing. And finally, I just want to say that genetics are one factor that plays a significant role in the development of kidney disease. And these genome-wide association studies have and identified several hundred genes that are associated with kidney disease. And genetic testing is here to stay and has a crucial role in the management of chronic kidney disease patients. So I hope you liked this video. And if you liked it, please press the like button. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, follow us always at www.inkidney.com.